My name is Elizabeth Lund and I'm a full-time staff member at Tallgrass. I had always been interested in homeschooling and alternative education since I was a teenager and at some point I wanted to figure out how I could be involved in it more um, full-time since I don't have kids of my own. And I started as a volunteer here and then I became a full-time staff member this, this uh, present year. I feel like it's a much more honest school. I think a lot of schools say that they respect their kids and that they give them choices. Um, I think we actually do. And I think that that really sets us apart from um, a lot of education that's based on manipulating children or trying to get them to do certain things in a certain order. I also like that this kind of education um, really gives, gives students rights and uh, lets them really participate as full people and not as a sort of second class citizens as children. It's a lot of different things, so I think I'm here to keep things running, I guess, is a big part of it. Um, and that could mean anything from trying to figure out how we should do tuition for next year to um, playing with a five-year-old and doing an obstacle course with them if uh, they want to, uh, if they need somebody to play with. Um, yeah, so I think I'm here to help students have a good environment and um, help them to some extent figure out what they want to do if they're looking for help from me. Almost anything. Uh, so it varies a lot from uh, anything from like picking up after things and cleaning um, all the way up to like thinking about what the school is going to be like five years in the future and how can we make the finances work. Um, so it, it can go back and forth from like really high level stuff to really um, just like on the ground uh, in the trenches painting the ceiling is kind of stuff. I am the admissions clerk so I do a lot of the admissions stuff. I am also the office clerk so I keep the office um, neat and make sure that we've got organized files and have the office supplies that we need. I uh, am the school meeting secretary. I take minutes for the school meetings and um, make sure that information is distributed in ways that um, to the school community. And then um, there's only two uh, full-time staff members here, so we all kind of pitch in with everything. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, everything from being a friend to people to, uh, to very different things. Definitely when um, new kids come, especially if they're coming from a more traditional school, they have some periods where they um, kind of look around and are like, what am I supposed to be doing? Who's going to tell me what to do? Um, I remember at the beginning of this year, a lot of people being like, is every day like this? And being like, when are the classes going to get started? And I was like, well, you know, we only do classes if you want to do classes. You don't ever have to do classes here if you don't want to. And it took them a while to really be like, oh, you, me you meant that. Okay, okay. So it is, okay. So usually the, the, biggest, the biggest time I see boredom is like if somebody's friends aren't there on a particular day, they may um, be looking around a little bit more for something to do. But especially the younger ones, they just come in and they, they know exactly what they want to do. They, they, um, they want to play. They, have their, they might have some, little, some things that they've talked about with their friends that they want to do that day. Um, they kind of have their plan. through life. I, I mean, I'm exposed to things that I didn't know about every single day here. So I, it's a question we get a lot, but it's also kind of a confusing question to me because if you're talking to people, inter interacting with people, if you're looking at stuff online, you're just naturally going to be exposed to so many different things. I think that we, our school offers a lot more opportunity to be exposed to things because there's things like um, we go to the store a lot or um, the students can get certified to go off campus so they can get exposed to a lot more than just what's in a typical school building. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think 
When I was a kid, I, I, I didn't like school from, I was really frustrated with it from like fourth grade on, but I always went to conventional public schools, largely because there wasn't really any other choice in the towns where I lived. Um, we talked about homeschooling, but we didn't really have like a sense of what was possible with that. So I think if there had been a school like this, um, me and my parents would have just jumped on it and I would have loved it. I would have loved to have enough time to like read the things that I wanted to read instead of reading what I was required to read at school. Um, I think I could have just delved into things on a much deeper level than I was able to when I had um, the things that were going on in regular school. I, my biggest memory of school is just the amount of time that I felt was wasted. Um, I felt like I was just waiting for my life to start and that I was reviewing the same material over and over again and I was just like, why do I have to waste all this time doing this um, instead of doing the things that I really want to do.